This is the face that Egypt wants to present to the world. The new library in Alexandria, a symbol of culture, progress and learning, paid for with money from around the Arab world. The building sums up all those marketing slogans about Egypt. A country with a rich and ancient past and a future as shiny as the library's facade. Or at least that's the image. But you don't have to walk far from this prestige project to see in graphic terms the reality of life in modern Egypt. Nearly half of its citizens survive on less than $2 a day. Meanwhile, prices are skyrocketing. This is the number one issue for most voters. Egypt is a young country. Two thirds of its citizens have been born since President Hosni Mubarak came to power. And for many people, it's hard to imagine anything else but his rule. These elections are expected to tighten his party's grip on power. Hundreds of opposition activists have been detained. The Muslim Brotherhood in particular has been targeted. This election will be like all the others. The ruling party will win. And I won't be voting. I can't be bothered to travel to another district to vote for an opposition candidate who doesn't have a chance of winning. I'm voting for the ruling party candidate. He cleaned up Alexandria and he knows the needs of the people. God willing, there won't be any vote rigging. But Egypt won't allow international observers to monitor these elections and people here don't believe the votes will make any difference to their lives. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Alexandria.